Hey, I am Jiso, and I am going to tell you how to use a mystical heirloom in God of War Ragnarok. You probably tried to dismiss this item because you thought it was useless. We all thought it was useless at first, to be honest. But it is tied to a side quest at the end of which you can get one of the most special armor piece in the game. You can find the relic in Midgar next to Tia's temple, and it's going to be hidden behind a wall. And to break the wall, you're going to require it's going to require a tool. I don't want to spoil anything in case you haven't been there yet. But this is this is where the wall will be normally. So you break it, and then you can see a corpse. The heirloom is going to be next to that corpse. Picture this. That way you're 100% that you are at the right place. Now that you got the relic, you want to not leave Midgard just yet. You want to head over to the, the relic outpost. This is where we're going to use a relic for the first time. You want to equip it and you're going to see the statue of a troll. Yeah, those ones. Well, you ring the bell, I mean you <laughs> use the relic and it's going to come back to life. So yeah, you have to kill the troll. And you also have to make sure you collect the loot when you're done before you head over to Alfheim where you can find the second troll. And I think this area is in the second battle of the desert. You have to make sure you go through uh, two side quests where you have to liberate free two creatures. And it's going to clear the sandstorm because the first time you come into the desert, it's going, it's going to be a huge sandstorm and you want to perform those side quests to clear everything out. And then you want to go to Vanaheim where you're going to find the... I think those are the last trolls you're going to fight. Right here. Yeah, those guys. And if you played God of War 2018, yeah, this is like I think they were called something of ashes too. Over there. Basically one one of them is um is weak to fire and the other one is weak to to ice. And since I was using a poison build, it was a fairly easy fight. Because poison doesn't discriminate. But it can be tough depending on your level and your build so definitely kill them and grab the loot because the loot is going to reward you with the crafting material required to forge the armor piece and that armor piece is um <laughs> it is very interesting so congratulations you have everything you need to forge the armor but there's just one more thing we need to do before we can call it a day at least in my opinion, maybe there's more to do with the item. I don't know. I'm still going to keep looking. But um, you want to head over to Svartenheim. Go to the Dragon Beach. Yeah, because as the name says, you're going to awaken that thing over there. And a word of advice, you don't want to come here unless you are level 7. I tried to do it at level 5 and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't go so great. But if you successfully beat the dragon, you're going to get the Jotunheim Force, which is a great enchantment. And also, the Stain John Armor Set. And it has one stat for the most part. Defense. Because this armor set is all about defense. And I have it maxed out. As you can see, I have over 700 defense. And everything else is lacking behind it. We don't care. We are going to be the tankiest boy in all the nine realms. They, they are not ready for what's coming. And here's a look at my enchantments. I, uh, I've, been, I've been exploring a lot, which is why I have almost every single thing in the game. And also the grip for my axe, for my chaos blades, and for my shield. And of course I'm using the Dauntless shield, which is my, my go-to. My go to shield. And full disclosure, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. And even I was surprised when that hit took that much health. Like, yeah, this is a good shield and it's going to protect you all the way. But more importantly, every time you get hit, you have 5 seconds to recover some health depending on the damage you deal upon enemies. And it doesn't matter what kind of damage you deal, you can use your your melee attacks or even your running your runic attacks is going to all, is all going to be converted which means that basically you can be you can become immortal look at that gentle beast he think it thinks it's him but nope look at the health i got it all back i mean not all of it but most of it so yeah this i think this build is great if you just want to lay down don't care but don't stress about 
you know, dodging, parrying, you know, you just go out there and even in the trickiest situations with those annoying guys, just look at the health. Look at the health. And of course, I'm also using Wrath as my, my, um, how do you call it again? My Rage? Because I love it. And if you kill enemies while using your Rage, you get some health back. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this build and I'm going to keep looking for more, especially for the Ram Shift build. So yeah, go out there and get you that armor. I want to see you tanky. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.